Hey, welcome. And since it's a couple days before New Year's Eve, I thought it might be a good time to address this question about The Shining. Is that party in the Gold Room really a New Year's Eve party or not? Of course, the scenes with all of the party guests wearing clothes from another era definitely looks like New Year's Eve. Very festive and a bit formal. It could easily be a fancy New Year's Eve party. There's also balloons and decorations around the room. But Kubrick plays around a bit with dates in The Shining. Sometimes it's hard to know exactly what date it is specifically. But let's start with the basic fact. The Torrances have agreed to stay at the Overlook from its closing day, apparently October 30th, the day before Halloween, oddly enough, through the winter to early May, when the hotel will open again. In fact, the film is kind of famous for those time cards that pop up throughout the film. You can see them here. On it, it says, the interview, closing day, a month later, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. It doesn't reference New Year's Eve at all, and actually it's a bit vague on what month it might be, except perhaps for the first two, the interview and closing day, which are probably in October. But wait, remember that clip where Jack is sitting in the lobby of the Overlook Hotel and he's glancing at a Playgirl magazine? Yeah, that's Playgirl, not Playboy. It was a magazine that was around at that time. But let's look at the cover. What do you notice about this issue? Well, look closely. It's the January issue. And on the cover, in the bottom right corner, in the red banner, it actually says, Happy New Year. I think this strongly hints that the Gold Room Party is actually a New Year's Eve party. You can see the number 31 next to the man's head here also. And remember, the January issue of any magazine would have come out at least a month earlier or so, so we're definitely before New Year's Eve here. But wait, what about that photo at the end of The Shining, the black and white photo of Jack that looks like it was taken at an old party? Is that a New Year's Eve party? Nope. It looks like one from the way they're dressed, very formal with tuxedos. But the date on the pic says July 4th, 1921. So it can't be New Year's Eve, supposedly. More about this later. Now, let's take a look at that song, the one we hear at the Gold Room Party, but also in the ending shot of The Shining. It's called Midnight, the Stars and You, by Ray Noble from 1934. And although the lyrics, which you can see here, are fairly short, yet the word midnight is repeated four times in these lyrics. Five if you count the title. That's a lot. And again, I feel it's a reference to New Year's Eve, the climax of which comes at midnight on the 31st of December when everyone shouts, Happy New Year, and drinks champagne. I feel this song is another subtle reference to New Year's Eve. Another clue comes when we look at the original photo that the Shining End photo with Jack was actually based on. As you can see from this article, that pic has actually been photoshopped. This is actually the original man here in this photo. And here you can see that Jack's face is superimposed on top of the original photo. But actually, it's not just the face that's changed. The date is changed too. The original photo is from 1923, not 1921. So if the year can be changed, then maybe that date of July 4th is wrong too. I'm just going to say it. I think the people in this photo are dressed for a New Year's Eve party, but as with many other details in The Shining, especially with dates, I'm not sure the July 4th, 1921 date can be trusted. The pick could definitely be New Year's Eve, in my opinion. So, to sum up, 
Although the Gold Room Party isn't specifically called a New Year's Eve party, I think there are several clues that hint that it is. First, the partygoers are dressed in a pretty fancy way that you might expect on New Year's Eve. Second, when Jack is reading a Playgirl magazine in one scene, it actually says Happy New Year on the cover with the number 31. Next, the song that we hear at the Gold Room Party, Midnight the Stars and You, repeats the word midnight several times, midnight being the magic hour on New Year's Eve. And lastly, in the ending photo of The Shining, the guests are definitely dressed formally as if they are at a New Year's Eve party, even though the date says otherwise. I still think, combined with the other clues, that we can say the Gold Room Party is, in fact, a New Year's Eve party. Well, that's my new video on the Shining Gold Room Party and New Year's Eve. Hope you liked it. Sorry if my voice sounds a little scratchy, but I'm a little under the weather today. I apologize. I'm definitely working on some new stuff that I hope to have up soon, but I guess by the time I do, it'll be 2024 already. Anyway, thank you for spending time with me and Happy New Year.